Welcome back to another redstone tutorial and today we are creating a quadruple piston extender. That's right, four pistons extending. How exciting! What could you use this for, I hear you ask? Well, maybe you need to move something four blocks away without wanting to touch it. Or maybe something's four blocks away that you want without wanting to touch it. Who knows? But here it is. I've actually got two designs here for a quadruple piston extender. Uh, both work, but uh, this one is bigger, and it's slower, and um, it's just not as pretty. So this is the one we're going to do today, and I think it is the better of the two. So let's get straight into it with talking about what you're going to need. So you're going to need six pink wool. You're going to need 12 redstone, eight repeaters, four sticky pistons, one redstone torch, one lever, and a block of your choice that you want to push about. Let's get straight into it. So what you're going to do first of all is get your pink wool and place down one block. And then you're going to put your four pistons in front of it. Okay. Then your block of your choice on the front. And that is your quadruple piston extender done. No, not really. What you've got to do now is put down some more blocks. So we're going to put down a, another wool block one block away. And then we're going to put down a redstone repeater facing into that on two ticks. Next thing you're going to do is come around the side here and place down two redstone repeaters here with another two one block away like this. Then you're going to put them on two ticks, four ticks, two ticks, four ticks like that. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is surround the whole lot with redstone like so. And that is this bit done. Next thing you're going to do is place a wall block on the end there again with a redstone repeater facing into it, this time on three ticks, just to make things a bit different. Then you're going to break this block next to that and put a redstone torch on the side of this block, not on the floor. It needs to be on the side there. And then to finish us off, we're going to do some work on this side now. So what you're going to do is start by putting down some redstone next to your wool block like this. And then you're going to put down some more wool blocks, one here and then two like that with a repeater going into each end of these two. Then you're going to leave this one here on one tick, and then this one on two ticks, and then finally a bit of redstone on the end there. Put your input on the back here, and if I've done it right, it's good to go. It's as easy as that, and I think that is pretty simple and straightforward, and I think you can all do it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make the other one into a tutorial as well, which I'll happily do, but I think this one is superior, and if you want anything else in terms of tutorials for Redstone, also leave me that in the comments. And if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, and it really helps me out. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye!